I mean, you divide your year between Yorkshire and Canada. Yeah. So where do you write? Do you have little writing rooms in each place? Yeah, uh, yeah I write in, in everywhere. But the, the, the place I like best to write is we have a little cottage on a lake in northern Ontario. It's about three hours drive north of Toronto. And it's year round, so you know, we can go there in winter as long as someone How comes. How cold is it in winter? <laughs> It can be around minus 30 or something like that. But you know, you've got the fire going in the hearth and the, the, the frozen lake outside and the bare trees and daytime, most beautiful blue skies. It's lovely. You know, just sit there upstairs and write and look over it. But the thing is, there are no interruptions. You know, we, we don't have a landline there. We do sort of get internet, um, so you can use the personal hotspot on the iPhone to get a, you know, a little to do bit. a bit of research and that. But I mean, you don't do it as much because it's just not that easily available. So as many days in a row as I can get up there to get the momentum rolling, and you probably find the same thing too, that if you're on a novel, there are times, it's stop, start, stop, start is really a pain. But day after day after day after day, ideas start coming more, Especially when, when you work like we do and you yeah. don't have an outline. I know, I totally agree. I mean, if you get on a roll, you can do a lot of writing, but the moment you have to take a day or two off to do some media or to, to answer whatever. Yeah, five Suddenly, steps back. Yeah, yeah. you then yeah. have to spend half a day at least reading your way back into the story and getting yourself back to the same place you were.